It's evident out there that climate change is already having a noticeable effect on our climate, to, and a very detrimental impact as well. For instance, our seasons have changed. Uh, we're experiencing summers and winters that are warmer than ever before. 11 out of the last 12 summers have been the hottest uh, in over 150 years. In fact, six of the 10 warmest summers on record have happened since 1990. And in Ireland's new winters, frost and snow are being substituted for by, uh, warmer, by rain due to the warmer temperatures. So essentially, it's getting warmer and it's also getting wetter. And as a nation, we've done little to try to reverse these trends. And if we continue to do nothing, things are going to get worse. The continued change in our weather systems will end up meaning a dramatic shift in the way that we have to run our agriculture sector, for instance. And that's going to happen within the next 30 years. And hotter, drier summers will drastically affect any efforts that we're making to deforest, uh, uh, to, to reforest more of our island. And importantly, water supplies, especially in urban areas, are going to come under unprecedented pressure. And while we continually debate this issue, the reality is that there's no structure out there, there's no plan, there's no strategy to deal with this. And that's very worrying, because it can't be denied that this is likely to happen, and it'll happen sooner rather than later, and we've got nothing to do to try to improve the situation, because we've got no ideas. And looking at what the Minister said, it's clear that it's now over two years since the Greener, greener Homes scheme was introduced. But in that time, there's been very little uh, new ideas at all coming out of the government. We've got, OK, there's some building regulations that have been introduced, but apart from that, it's just uh, commissioning of new studies. That seems to be all that's happening. So I'm disinclined to congratulate the government on favouring renewable energy sources over fossil fuels because it's not evident that that's actually what they're doing. And I've got here the programme for government, an extract, um, and I'm still in the dark as to what exactly their policies are in relation to um, energy and renewable energy. There appear to be about three main pillars in the programme for government that deal with the topic of energy in Ireland. One pillar deals with the security of supply of energy, one deals with the competitiveness of our energy market, and one deals with the environmental sustainability of our energy use. And in all three pillars, I can't find anything, not one single commitment, that takes us steadily and safely and sustainably away from fossil fuels. In the security of supply section, the document mentions efficiency and availability of energy. It talks about a reliable energy network that works for consumers. And the section on competitiveness is also fairly open and speaks of the single electricity market and an intention to maintain a state-owned infrastructure for electricity and gas. And I turned to the section on environmental sustainability. I thought I might get some meat in there, but all I got was waffles. Waffles with lots of sugary and syrupy words about saving energy and saving resources. But there's not one commitment in there. There's no leadership on the issue of sustainability, and there's no guarantees on introducing any new policies to deal with this matter. There's no commitment to move to sustainability in transport. Instead, the government's going to promote the idea. There's no leadership in changing the way homes are powered or even built. Instead, there's some vague talk about incentivising people to move to greener homes. And there's no guarantee of rapid investment and development of existing energy technology, such as wind energy. Instead, the government is going to keep that whole area under examination. No commitment, no leadership, no guarantees. And if there was ever a time that we needed to see real leadership, it's now. Because best estimates uh, point to us reaching peak oil in four short years at 2012. And that's when, when that point is reached, Ireland is in a very dangerous situation. In 2004, we used 9 million tonnes of oil in Ireland. That's, by the way, almost a doubling of our oil use in just 14 years. Ireland is ranked third highest among the EU states for oil use per head of population. That's dangerous for food supplies, it's dangerous for electricity production, and it also means that in terms of uh, transport around the country, there's a real danger there that we won't be able to satisfy our needs. So what we need to hear is less of the waffle uh, and more firm commitments and more guarantees. What are the government going to do to tackle the approaching peak oil situation? What are they going to do to tackle our dependency on fossil fuels and on foreign oil? And when are they going to actively uh, promote and develop clean energy, uh, particularly uh, uh, around the country. So I'll be voting against the government's motion tonight. Uh, I can't vote for a policy that frankly doesn't exist.